Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Wild and Free Exploration Today we will be discussing Grandmothers are great, generally speaking But evolutionarily speaking, it's puzzling why women past their reproductive years live so long In today's video, we're going to explore the latest research on why grandmothers play such an important role in their grandchildren's survival According to two new studies published in Current Biology, the survival rate of young grandchildren increases significantly when their maternal grandmothers live nearby and are between 50 to 75 years old. In fact, the survival rate can increase by up to 30%. But what happens when grandma lives far away? The second study looked into whether that benefit to survival persists even when grandma lives far away. Unfortunately, the research shows that it doesn't. The studies are part of a broader effort to explain the existence of menopause, a rarity in the animal kingdom. The so-called grandmother hypothesis stipulates that, from an evolutionary standpoint, women's longevity is due to their contributions to their grandkids' survival, thus extending their own lineage. The Finnish study found that when maternal grandmothers living nearby were aged 50 to 75, their 2 to 5 year old grandchildren had a 30% higher likelihood of survival than children whose maternal grandmothers were deceased. But when paternal grandmothers lived past age 75, their grandchildren's odds of dying before age 2 was 37% higher than a child with a deceased paternal grandmother. Simon Chapman, an evolutionary biologist at the University of Turku in Finland, recalls how they stumbled upon the killer grandmother phenomenon in their research. Simon Chapman, we said it as a joke when we had the idea for this study. Oh killer grandmothers, wouldn't that be such a great story? Then we found it. But why is this happening? David Cole, a biological anthropologist at Edith Cowan University in Joondalup, Australia. Suspects' parents found themselves crunched between the competing needs of ailing grandmothers and wailing babies. David Cole, what we are likely seeing here is a historical version of the sandwich generation. The second study looked at whether the grandmother boost persisted even when families lived far apart. Researchers found that for every 100 kilometers of distance between mothers and daughters, the daughters had 0.5 fewer children. Once a maternal grandmother moved 350 kilometers away or more, her benefits ceased. These findings may explain an evolutionary reason for menopause, but may not hold true in today's modern world, where people tend to have fewer kids and live farther from home. Both studies provide an interesting peek at life in North American and European communities, but there is still debate over whether menopause came about by accident or whether it has an evolutionary purpose. Melissa Melby, a medical anthropologist at the University of Delaware in Newark, remains skeptical about the grandmother hypothesis because menopause may well have come about by accident. Melissa Melby, maybe, women live past their reproductive years because evolution favored men who could reproduce into old age, who then passed on those longevity genes to their sons and daughters. So, while the jury is still out on whether menopause has an evolutionary purpose, it's clear that grandmothers play a vital role in their grandchildren's please join our YouTube channel Wild and Free Exploration next time as we explore.